uh, two games, uh, both to do with Pokemon. Pokemon became a craze, kind of died off a little bit, but picked back up uh, here in the holidays uh, for the different things that they've done. All the kids, a lot of kids at my school at least play uh, Pokemon Go still. So uh, me and my wife came up with this game, and the first one is a warm-up game. So during a warm-up game, what happens is we have kids coming out, the whole class is playing. Uh, we didn't bring all the cards that we'll use for the game, but we brought two for each one. What it is is each one has a picture on it. That picture also correlates with something on the outside. Something on the outside is some exercise. You have the number that you have to do on the back. So the back has the number of exercises, the front has the actual uh, where you have to go when you get tagged. So we start off, I'll just walk around, I'll just hand them out like this. Basically what I do, the kids are waiting, I'll just start handing them out to a couple of people. Not everybody will get one at first, so I just hand them out like that. Then when I say go, everyone will stand up, you'll try to get away and a tagger will come to you and they will tag you and give you the card. When they give you the card, you have to look at the card, figure out where it is on the outside of the gym, go out there, do that exercise, come back in with your card and tag someone. So you always gotta be aware of where the taggers are. They're not too defined because they have a little piece of paper in their hand, but once you get tagged, they hand it to you you go outside, you do the exercise. Real simple, but they love it because it's Pokemon. Everything in my gym is Pokemon right now. So uh, the kids really enjoy playing the game uh, throughout the time. So all it is, you get the card, you go out to the outside, do the exercise, come back in, find someone, and we'll give out more cards as I see. We need more cards uh, going through the game. These are fives and sixes. We have threes and twos as well, but I didn't bring those because I figured y'all didn't want to do threes and twos. Got the GT crowd today. All you, no, all you gotta do is go ahead, you gotta go tag someone. If you have a card, you're just a tagger right now. Yeah, you're just a tagger. All right, so people with cards are taggers right now. And then you just have to go outside and find your picture, do the exercise, whatever it is on the outside. Any questions? I'll take three, two, one, ready, go. You're back in, you're back in the game now. Yeah, you're just back in the game. It's an airplane, and then this is what happens. I'll start going tag people. So I'm just walking around, and soon enough they'll figure out that they don't want coach to come see them. Because now they know they're going to have to go out and see something. Or I'll just hand this to one. Here you go, you can go to the next one. You get there. They start to change the dynamic. So see, right now y'all kind of high there. And the other thing is I found that they love Pikachu. So they will go and do those Pikachu push-ups in a heartbeat just to have the Pikachu. So it's crazy. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, no. I get quick when it comes to this game though. So pretty soon we'll have a lot of people just going. So I don't need the little pictures for for the game. But we're on the on the email thing, so you can just send it over, and we'll try to get it out if you need it. All right. The next game is also a Pokemon game. It is if you're in Pokemon Go, you know that you have to throw the balls and try to capture the Pokemon. All right. So that's what this game starts out to be. We're gonna do it as a basketball unit. Okay. So we're gonna do a two-hand chess pass, which I already taught to the kids. So that's the game that we're gonna play now. Of course, with the you know younger ages, probably three, four, five uh, grades, you get away with playing with a chess pass. The rest of them, uh, just however they can throw it over there, I'm fine with it. Uh, as long as no one gets hit in the head, uh, I'm good with it because playing with the soft ones, and I have my big ball. Can someone roll my big ball out here, please? 
So the big ball, which uh, I have all of uh, Omnican six balls, so they're all this size basically, and uh, it doesn't hurt a soul if they get hit with it, uh, and, and they actually like getting hit with it in my school at least. Uh, they think it's funny when they get hit with the ball. So uh, it's a pretty different situation. Uh, so that's the game. When you get hit with the ball, so we're just going around. We, I start off with maybe one or two people as being uh, with the balls. I'll get more balls out as we need. I'll just always have them with me, ready to go. Again, toss it out there to see how the game's going. Uh, never start with a lot of balls because you start with a lot of balls. You just have a, a lot of stuff going on the outside and not on the inside of the game. So you can tag the ball. You have to go to a gym because guess where you battle in Pokemon Go? You battle in the gym. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the gym. The gyms are the mats. All right, so you have to go to the mat, battle. The way we battle is we play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, show. So it's always one, two, three, show you what you're gonna do. Rock, paper, scissors, show. Once you do that, you play it. The winner of the rock, paper, scissors is automatically back in the game. If you lose the battle, you have to power back up because you just lost the battle in the gym. And the kids all know you gotta power back up now. So to power back up, let's make it easy and let's do three squats today. We'll make it easy for you. It could be whatever it is. You could be on one gym, it could be one thing, another gym, it could be another thing. And you can have it posted on the walls, which is what I do for most of the stuff that I do, post everything. That way the kids know exactly where it's going to be. So, uh, we'll just do both of them, three squats, you're back in the game. Uh, anything else? I think that's all of it. Uh, I let them move around because I, I, with so many kids playing, I just let them move around. They move around, they move around. Uh, just no hits in the head. If you get hit in the head, you're not out. But the other thing is, just because I have the ball, say I throw it and I miss you, anybody can pick up the ball now. So anybody can get it now. But if that ball hits you, if, like if you catch it, like, like it hits your foot just now, you're trying to catch it, then you're out. But if it didn't hit your foot and it's just rolling, so if it's rolling and it hits you, you're not out. Now you can just pick it up and go. But if it's bouncing, moving, any other way except rolling, then, then you would be out. You gotta go to the gym, battle rock, paper, scissors. Winner comes back in automatically. Loser would play, uh, I mean, would do the squats. Anything else? Miss? Yeah, I do squats, you're back in. Yes, yes, you're back in. If you catch yeah. it, like you jump out of the ball. Yeah, yeah, you catch it, you just drop the ball back. So you're done. You're back in the game. So you're not out of the game. So you don't have to go to the gym. Because Pokemon likes to jump out of the balls for some reason whenever you throw it out of them. He'll get out for you. Especially the ones you really want. Uh, Pokemon Go, uh, I played last night. Probably about midnight was the last time I played. I haven't played yet this morning though, because I have to be here really early. Uh, anyone, any other questions? All right, uh, you can get first. We're gonna start with that ball first, and then as you see this ball come in, it'll be part of the game. So, rock, paper, scissors, you have to go to the gym to battle someone, to get back in. Yeah, rock, paper, scissors to battle, come back in. Yes, ma'am. Anybody can throw the ball. Just if you find the ball on the ground, you pick it up and now you can throw it to someone. Go. You could throw it, yes. Ice tea catch drop. It's just a simpler concept because of other games, yeah. There's other games that we would play that would consider catch drop, just to make it easy for us. Anybody can pick it up, yeah. You're not in by yourself. Anybody can. So it's like an anybody game at all times. All right, ready? Music. Music cues us. Music cues us. There we go. Uh oh. Still in, everybody in. Oh, you are. Here we go.
this kind of up to uh, just bringing that Pokemon Go aspect to the class. And uh, any other questions? Three, two, behind me. Behind me, yes. Correct. If you catch the ball, you're still in the game. You can either drop it or you can be the thrower now. It, nothing. You're still playing. You're still playing. Right. Yeah. Pokemon just likes to jump out. Especially your best Pokemon, they'll always try to get out of your ball whenever you're playing. So it's part of the game. So that's the best That's the best Pokemon you just try to catch. And they jumped out. Any others? All right. Thank you very much for playing.